We're rolling. We're rolling. Hello guys, so welcome to this video. Um, a lot of you have been asking about the 2020 Olympia and obviously the finals, the pre-judging, peak week, um, and I thought I owed it to you guys to bring you the last episode. So I apologize it's a little bit late. Um, I was just basically digesting what happened, um, getting home after being out in Dubai in the training camp and obviously in America. I just wanted to spend time with the family, start the new year off right, and um, yeah, just kind of forget about it. I know it sounds awful, but just forget about it because it was um, not the best result. Obviously placing eighth um, when you're going there for the win is pretty shit, <laughs> um, but, that's why I'm here to address it and talk to you how I feel about it. I'm in the trenches. Dying hard for this. Yeah. So this is the last cardio session of the 2020 Mr. Olympia, which is crazy after the year we've had. Never thought I'd be saying that, but um, today is last circuit session. So we're gonna do a weighted upper body circuit, um, getting the carbs in. I normally deplete down, shut up. Normally de deplete down around this stage, but we're not gonna do it because my weight just keeps dropping every morning. Like even the more food I put in the day before, it's still dropping. So we, um, I'm not gonna deplete down. I'm gonna just start filling up. So we've got seven meals today, um, all heavy carb based meals. Uh, like the same as yesterday and the day before, we've not really been taking carbs out at all. Um, and we're just gonna keep that going. Um, tomorrow we're gonna even load up a bit more. And then obviously it's uh, show day Saturday. So just improvising, just see how the day goes. And each meal, every two hours, we'll be uh, adapting it, whether we need to take carbs away or put more in, depending on how I'm filling up. So yeah, feel good. Let's do this. You and I, Right guys, so we're here at Iron Religion, which is where we've trained most of the week. And this is my last session of the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So um, we're not gonna be doing anything major. As you know, we've already started backing off all the uh, exercises and uh, sessions. This is gonna be an upper body blood flow pumping session. And this way it's gonna give you a bit of an indication of how we're gonna start to look. Because, because I haven't depleted down in carbs, I should still get a decent little bit of a pump. Um, I'm shaved up now obviously not tanned, but um, it just puts us in the right place ready for it. So I'm gonna shut up <laughs> and just get myself in there and get training. You got no fun. Fullest I've ever felt. We're ready this year, no stone unturned. Right. Feeling good, yeah? Yeah, I do actually. No matter what happens on Saturday, I definitely think this is going to be my, my best 
um, condition, fullness, size, um, yeah, everything. Mentally, I feel right. Physically, I feel there. So um, we just got to. I know it sounds silly, but stop being the nice, humble. Hopefully, we'll do okay, and have a bit of belief in myself. Um, and this year we do big time. So that first place, sixth attempt this time is first. Yep, so we've got 50 grams of protein. It's a bit excessive, but I like it. It's a bit sweeter. So 50 grams of whey isolate and one banana, which is about 32 grams of carbs. And Sweet. then we're gonna, we've got five more meals to get in today. Um, so that was the last session. All good, happy with that. I need to have a cold shower because I had a shave yesterday and I'm itching everywhere, so uh, that's the next point of call. But you don't need to see that. That's for the OnlyFans page. <laughs> We're rolling. Rolling. We're rolling. Right, so this monstrosity has to come off now. I've let it grow a bit too much. And it's time to get my baby face back, get my jawline back. So every year it's coming off. Right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> what about now? <laughs> Job done. How do I look? I'm hoping I look younger. Like Mr. International. Right, Terry, Great Britain. It's Mr. Great Britain and Mr. International. Oh God, a young Ryan Terry. Yeah, I'll take that. Boom. Boom. Now I need a shower. Get out. <laughs> Go. I'm going. green beans or asparagus nothing major differently waiting for the athletes meeting so this is like when you get your Olympia coat your number the rules and regulations of, of how the running order is going to be so this is for me when it becomes very real and even now sat here my heart's going like my like butterflies in my stomach so it's the realization of we've made it and it's game on and we're actually doing this so uh, yeah all good <laughs> I'm gonna get my first coat of tan on. It's Friday morning. Obviously we're in less than 24 hours now from stepping on stage. Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is like the exciting part because this is where obviously you start to see it transform. When you get a tan on, you always look a little bit better. <laughs> um, I am water loading quite a lot still though, forcing carbs in today. So it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be one of those days. Relaxing, two tans. That's about it really, get ready for tomorrow. So this year I had the privilege of sharing my time slots uh, with Chris Bumstead, um, who he needs our introduction, you know who he is. Um, and yeah, it's just catching up with him. Obviously he's Gymshark, he's a great guy and you could just see his mental focus. He was well prepared for what he was gonna uh, do on stage then. So it's all about getting laid up, giving yourself six to eight hours between each coat for it to progress and to get darker and darker and darker. And you, I must admit, you look like an unplugged when you come out of there, but on stage, it's important to go get the right tan. Obviously, I always use Pro Tan, it's always work well with my skin, um, because it's gonna best showcase your um, definition, your muscularity on stage. Yeah, just let me throw a layer of tan and I'm starving. So, I don't even know how this works, but I'm gonna blast this. I'm gonna go and have a quick check in with Neil, um, just see what crack I lack in. Then get home and carry on feeding up. Um, I'm gonna cut my water soon. So I've had about four litres so far. Probably go for six. What time are we on? Quarter to 12, so yeah, I'll probably cut around three o'clock. So get another two litres in quite easily. And that's it. Time's on. I'm actually doing really well. We're only at three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm on meal six. It's quite a lot. 
How many mils are you getting in? Let's roll the dice. Or are you just going to no, keep joking. packing eight. them in? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll get eight in and then a few snacks dependent. But I'll do, a, I've got my second go at time and then I'll do a, like a little mini pump up and see how we're filling up and whatever you. And then we'll uh, assess going from there. Mm. Yeah, it's going in okay. I'm starting to get a bit bloated now. The water has been going in quite a lot as well. I'm going to taper that off soon. And then, uh, yeah, show day in the morning. Second coat going on. A bit bloated at the minute. But... Yeah, you look really bloated, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> to the average human. <laughs> what we're like, we're six meals in now. Uh, quite quite deep into carbs now, so uh, we're going to start putting water in the next hour or so. So, to get another coat on. Yeah. Go see the coach, Neil. See what he has to say. Hopefully all good things. Get home, rested up. Ready to go. This is what I'm happy about. Coach is happy. In your chest, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Because yesterday you were just emptying a little bit, but now this is yeah. much, much, much fuller. So we've got much, much fuller. Two more, three, two or three meals to keep going in. Definitely, let's get two in. Let's see assess. Let's see what your weight is doing. Yeah. And then we go from there. You've got more 3D going on in your lower erector area. Just much, much going yeah. on there, right? Very yeah, good, mate. So just keep I'm happy, mate. Good man. He's happy. It's amazing. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the last supper. <laughs> so this is meal. You could class it as eight, but it's meal seven solid, and then I've been having like snacks in between. So I, we have pushed the food quite a lot today. Asparagus every meal, natural diuretic. We've just got lean turkey mince and uh, rice, white basmati rice. I've carved up on the white rice today. Um, I've got sweet potato as well, but I'm saving that for show day, just because it's a bit of a slower releasing carb. And we should be full tomorrow, so it's just like drip feeding between finals and pre-judging and stuff like that. So, after this, bedtime. That's my last bit of water. I'll only be sipping that as well, drying out now. And uh, yeah, all should be good in the morning. He nervous? Says. Nervous? Um, yeah, I'm, I am nervous. I'm always nervous. Quite a nervous person. Um, nervous competitor. But uh, trying not to think about it. Like I said, I've had a good, what we had, like four or five weeks of just like a real like hard, focused, funny, chilled prep, haven't we? And it's been yeah. good. And I don't want to change any of that now. Like I say, no matter the outcome tomorrow, I'm in the best shape I can be at this stage. So if I'm not what the judges are looking for tomorrow, then I'm still going to hold my head up high. Uh, I know I've done everything I can. I'm still aiming for that first spot. I still want it. still believe I can do it. Um, so that's all we can do. Go and show them what, all the hard work we've, we've, we've been doing this year. And obviously after the 2020 horrific year for everybody, it would be great to end it on a high, on a win. Game day. Yep. It's game day. Tanned up, ready to go. Got one more tan to do actually, so just gonna go into the room we've got at the Hyatt. Just get relaxed, get settled up there, and then I'm gonna go down for my tan. You two probably get some shut eye for another half hour. So the morning of the week, uh, I received 
family videos, which were very personal to me. Um, and yeah, it was quite emotional to, to sit there. Before you got on stage, obviously you're doing it for them, uh, knowing they've got the, the mass support there, and, um, Amy and Alfie at home, which yeah, is a huge driving force for me. Getting that in the morning was quite emotional. As you can see, I was getting a bit teary-eyed. Um, but yeah, it gave me that like that last drive, that last bit of um, motivation that I needed. Hi babe, um, I hope you're well. We just wanted to say a massive, massive good luck for Saturday. <laughs> we are him. both missing you a lot. He's um, just gone to sleep. Hard this year to be in PU to even get there. Um, so congratulations firstly for, for even being there. Um, and secondly, for the amount of work that you've put in um, and the package that you're bringing this year, it's just incredible. Um, I know it's been difficult for you to be away, um, as it has been for us too. We are really, really looking forward to having you back home with us. Um, but first, you've got a job to do. We are sixth year now. There is one place left to get. Um, so go and grab it. And then next year, Alfie and I will be there to watch you defending your title. Um, we're missing you loads, a massive, massive good look. We will be watching and um, we can't wait to see you. Sending lots and lots of love. We're over the last coat of tan. So it's the morning of the Olympia. This is the final coat. So it's a bit patchy now because obviously we've slept in it. So, but, so this is just sort of cleaning it all up and then going slightly darker. Very impressive, mate. Fantastic, Ryan. Well done, mate. It's half past seven here. Tan's all done. Check-in's done. So it's just uh, going to walk over in about half an hour. The classic physique's on at nine o'clock, so an hour and a half. And then we're on straight after, which is I think around 10 a.m., so two hours from now. So, um, get some uh, rest in before the battle starts. Uh, so as you can see, we're walking over to the venue now. And at this stage, your nerves are starting to kick in, but at the same time, you're trying to stay focused. You know you've got a job to do, um, and it's all about timing when you add, start adding a few more carbs, making sure you're not depleted, um, and getting yourself ready for stepping on the biggest stage in the world um, and going for that title.
211, Carlos. 12, Andre. 17, Brandon. 18, Tyron. 25, Jeremy. And 31, Raymond. Brandon and Andre switch. Gentlemen, face the curtain. Gentlemen, face the curtain. Face front. Spread out, please. Spread out. Hey, you can have a Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, face the curtain. just about to go to finals so uh, pre-judging was done this morning uh, didn't go quite to plan um, we're looking at at best eighth place um, and I'm not going to stand here and make excuses and say for any reason why I, I, I didn't or I wasn't up there or winning the show the, the people who were in front of me deserved to be in front of me they were world-class physiques absolutely awesome um, I am disappointed but that's on me that's uh, something I have to go away um, and look at reevaluate and, and see where we're at but um, definitely needs improvement on the back uh, you can see that from a mile off and if I was to be more competitive I, I need at least I don't know 10 15 pounds of good thick dense muscle um, we tried this year to come in slightly different I did take a bit of a risk by uh, trying to come in bigger um, sacrificed a little bit of condition um, looking at the pictures you can see that um, but I felt I needed to try and do something different it was my sixth attempt and each year I was placing the top five but I was never gonna get that first place so for me it was about stepping out and trying something different and, and we have done my team around me, um, we are happy with what we've done. It's just, it's not good enough for where the division's at right now. So um, I'm gonna go and enjoy my time on stage uh, at the finals, and then I'm gonna enjoy some food. Even have a beer, I think it's a well-earned beer, and then get home um, to see my family and my son, uh, and spend Christmas with them. So uh, let's get on in, get pumped up, have some fun, and that's that. <laughs> Over the last 10 months, the road to the Olympia tested us in ways that uh, few of us could have imagined. All right, folks, another great lineup. Top 10 in the world on the Olympia stage.
You heard it, folks. He is your two-time Mr. Olympia champion. Give it up for Brandon Hendrickson. Severely dehydrated, let's get some beer in me. Carbs and electrolytes. You're proper heavy. So what happened then? I got my arse handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was beaten, beaten by uh, one hell of a lineup. I'm not gonna lie, it was uh, unbelievable. But we knew it at pre judging so it was no different. Uh, thank you, my man. Cheers. So I think we came off with eighth place. Um, but I want to say on camera and to you guys, a massive thank you. I appreciate you supporting me for, it's been three and a half weeks. It's been fun, it has, I've enjoyed it. I've missed home, but you've made it a lot easier. So uh, I'm not gonna get emotional, but I am gonna say a massive thank you to you both. Thanks for having us. Right, let's go and have a shower and then it's top golf. Woohoo! I've got to win at summit, so you've got to let me win. <laughs> hmm. <Ooh. laughs> yeah, it's going to be 45 minutes away. Well, Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Last night in America. Back to uh, the UK. Back to lockdown. <laughs> Yay, nice and Christmassy. <laughs> so what your favourite restaurant? Everyone knows, if you've been following me for the last decade, whenever I finish a show, this is the first cheat meal I come to on American soil. So Cheesecake Factory, it's all about the smokehouse burger, sweet potato fries, and an Oreo milkshake. Can't beat it. I've been to a lot of joints in America, and. All the Americans might say to me that I'm completely wrong, but <laughs> for me that is the best burger in America, definitely. A lot of people say In-N-Out burger, but that's just a completely different level to this. This is a quality, quality burger. Uh oh, that is unreal. <laughs> Honestly, I challenge anyone to beat this burger. Anyone. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, sir. Bit of top golf. Uh, we've got a lot of money riding on this. <laughs> oh, it's wet. Oh, I'm feeling this. Apparently, Ryan plays a lot. <laughs> Mate, I'm in <laughs> That's took everything out of me. <laughs> oh. Ryan, at least you won some of this weekend. Too soon, Craig. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope I've cleared up a few questions that keep getting asked uh, on my social media. Uh, I do apologise it's taken so long. Like I say, I was just getting my head around it. Um, but please comment below on what you want to see next. Like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing more constant, consistent content moving forward. Um, so again, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.